David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with something a little different. In previous years, I've never done anything like a holiday gift guide. Um, I was contacted by the good folks at Gold Spot Pens who asked if I would be interested in doing one this year in conjunction with their site, and I agreed. Uh, as an added bonus, Gold Spot has provided four $50 gift certificates for their site, so stay tuned to the end of this video to learn what you need to do in order to win one of these gift cards. Um, I believe that four winners would be the most I've ever had for a giveaway. I know I've uh, done two, but I don't think that I've ever had three, so having four winners will be nice, as well as increase the chances for you to walk away with something which could go toward one of the gift suggestions that I have. So what I have done here is broke down this list into three different kinds of people you might be looking to purchase gifts for. And who knows, that person might even be yourself. We all need to treat ourselves now and then. But I broke this down into gifts for someone who is new to the fountain pen hobby, someone who's looking to take that next level step, and then someone who is a seasoned pro. Um, for each of these selection, I chose five items, uh, three pens, an accessory, and an ink. And each of the items on this list is available at Gold Spot Pens, and links to everything can be found in the notes below. You know, I first wanted to explain my strategy in coming up with this list. Um, I know that I can be rather challenging to purchase gifts for. Uh, most of the other people in my family make lists of things they would like, almost like a wedding registry. I, I usually don't do that. Uh, I'll typically say that I would rather have a surprise and have something that my family would think I would like. Uh, you know, I'd rather, you know, open that up than open up a gift and think, oh, that's exactly what I asked for. I'd rather open up something and be surprised and think, wow, I like this and I didn't even know I wanted it. So uh, I tried to think about how if I was in each of these categories, what is something that I would like to receive? Uh, fountain pens can be such a personal choice, and I wanted to recommend items that I felt had the best chance of being a successful gift that will get used and appreciated. Okay, in order to take a look at my recommendations, please join me over here at camera two. To begin with, we have things for someone just getting started in the fountain pen hobby. Again, I have five items, three pens, an accessory, and some ink. To start with, we have a Caveco Sport. Uh, this is a pen that even though early in my pen journey I saw that it showed up on many top 10 lists for beginners, I resisted picking one up for a while. It's a bit of a different pen. Um, it's a pocket pen and the cap can be a little bit chunky and distinctive. Um, this one here is called Iridescent Pearl and then we have another one here in straight black. Uh, they, what's great about this pen is there are tons of colors to choose from. So even if someone has one of these pens in their collection, uh, they will most likely enjoy one in a new color. And that could basically be said for the majority of pens I'm showing you today. They're available in a wide variety of colors. Next up for beginners is a pen from Twisby. Uh, Twisby makes a number of really solid entry-level pens. Uh, there's this one here, the Go, which is very unique with this exposed spring design. Uh, and it's about half of the one I ultimately chose, which is the Eco. Um, the Eco's made from a bit sturdier plastic and feels a little bit more solid in the hand. Um, it is a piston uh, filler, and there's, uh, you know, a lot to like about this pen. Um, there's not a lot of entry-level piston fillers on the market, and it's a great pen for folks just starting off in the hobby. Uh, and then, just like uh, the Caveco uh, I mentioned, it comes in all sorts of different colors, and the nib is nice on here as well. And the final pen recommendation is the Venerable Lamy Safari. It comes in a rainbow of colors. This one is black. I know, not that exciting. Um, each year they come out with limited edition colors. This one here is the Petrol. Um, a lot of limited edition colors become more desirable after they're no longer obtainable through retailers. Uh, this is one of the few pens in my collection which I could most likely sell for more than I purchased it for. Uh, on eBay, these are going for around $100 to $150. Okay, in regard to an accessory, how about a nice pen holder? And one of the more popular pen holders are these neat little crabs. They are inexpensive uh, and are a neat little addition to your desk. And then finally, for a great ink, which happens to be one of my absolute favorite inks in my collection, and that would be Pilot Orochizuku Konpeki. 
Um, I really love this vibrant blue. Um, it's an ink that behaves well. You could use it in professional settings and it comes in one of the coolest looking and best design bottles on the market. Uh, Konpeki, as well as everything else in the Orosuzuku line is just a really, really solid ink. Okay. On to the next level, and that would be someone who is a little bit more established in the fountain pen hobby and is looking to, to take that next step or to branch out a little bit. The first pen recommendation that I have, it would be from Leonardo, and that would be the Memento Zero. Um, with a stainless steel nib, the pen is reasonably priced and comes in a number of really nice resins. Uh, they are made in Italy. Uh, this one here is the Blue Hawaii model. Uh, then we have another one here. This one is uh, the Mango. And then this one here is called Coral Red. Um, I'm a big fan of Leonardo pens. And if someone uh, in your uh, that you're looking to get a gift for doesn't have one in their collection, there's a very good chance that they will enjoy it. Um, it like I said, the, the nibs are very nice. They're very distinctive. And they've come out with a, a number of really cool resins to choose from. For the second pen, we have the classic Pilot Vanishing Point. Uh, they come in a bunch of colors. Uh, I believe Goldspot has around 13 or 14 different colors in stock. Um, it has an outstanding 18 karat gold nib. For a lot of users, a Vanishing Point is their first gold nib in their collection. Um, this is the gunmetal version. Uh, and then here is one that is in blue. Uh, the nibs on these pens retract by depressing the knock. Uh, the, the, the distinctive click is not a sound that you hear a great deal when using fountain pens. But vanishing points are fantastic. Uh, and then there is also the Pilot Decimo, which is also a slightly thinner pen as well. And a slightly less expensive than the vanishing point. And then the final pen recommendation in this intermediate category is the Diplomat Arrow. Uh, this is yet another pen with lots of different color options. Goldspot carries like 17 or 18 different colors. Um, over the last couple of years, Diplomat has really expanded their color options on the Arrow line, and uh, just about all of them look really, really sharp. This is the orange, uh, then we have the black, uh, and then we have the blue. Um, I think, that, well, the black is classic, but the blue and the orange just really look solid. Um, another thing about the Diplomat Arrows is that the stainless steel nibs are outstanding. Now this one actually has a gold nib on it, but the stainless steel nibs are some of my favorite steel nibs on the market. Uh, the Arrow overall is just a really solid choice. Now for an accessory, I chose this Rhodia number 19 staple bound pad. Um, I really realize it doesn't fit here in the frame, but this is the paper that I use for all of my writing and ink samples, as well as the paper I use every day at work. It's reliable, everyday use paper that I could always use more of. Uh, whenever I go to a pen show, I typically stock up on these. Um, I have a lot of them right now. Besides the one I'm actually using, I think I have about 10 backups. So that should last me for a little while. And finally, for the intermediate user in regard to an ink recommendation, how about something from Colorverse? Um, I don't have one of the boxes on me, but this is what the ink bottles look like. Um, one of the cool things is that it, this ink bottle comes in these sets where you get a main larger bottle and then a smaller bottle of complementary ink. Um, this one uh, here is one of my favorite sets of theirs, which is Schrodinger and his accompanying cat. Um, Goldspot has almost 200 different Colorverse ink sets, which mostly have themes around science and astronomy. Um, it's a really cool brand that I enjoy. Uh, this is what the Schrodinger looks like. Uh, and then here is the cat. Okay, now for the final section. That would be someone who is a seasoned pro. The fountain pen fanatic. Someone who is going to be tough to buy for because they know what they like and they know what they don't like. Uh, to begin with, the pen recommendations, if you can get your hands on something that's a limited edition, that's a plus. Um, Goldspot has a limited edition Sailor that I'm fond of, and that would be the Sailor Pro Gear Blue Cobra. Um, I really love this combination of the cool blue and the white tips. Um, these pens come in a wide variety of nib choices as well. 
So even if your gift recipient has a Sailor Pro Gear in their collection, getting one with something like a music nib or even a zoom nib would be a great choice. Um, if you're not familiar with the terms, uh, a zoom nib is Sailor's nib, which when you write at different angles, you could produce different width lines. Um, it's really fun to play around with. Next up is another pen from Leonardo, which is something brand new to the market that hasn't been around for very long, and that would be the Momento Zero Grande 2.0. Um, I have this one here in my possession, and I haven't even reviewed it yet, though look for that coming up in the fairly near future. Um, this model here is made from what is called Sea Anemone Spaghetti Resin, which is an Italian resin. Uh, the main difference between the original Memento Zero Grande and the 2.0 is that the 2.0 has this nice ink window. They are both still piston fillers. Um, this one here has a stainless steel nib, which is great. Um, the pen is reasonably priced and it's very new to the market. So chances are that your giftee will not have this in their collection yet. And then for the final pen recommendation, I decided to go with something a little bit more expensive, but something which is unique high quality and provides an outstanding writing experience. And that is the Namiki Nippon Art Series Golden Pheasant. The hand painted Mackie work on Namiki pens is just spectacular. I really feel that this work is beautiful. Um, on top of that, Namiki nibs are outstanding. Um, Namiki is Pilot's luxury brand, kind of like Lexus is uh, Toyota's luxury brand when it comes to automobiles. Um, a giftee's heart would truly need to be three sizes too small to not be excited about receiving a Nippon Art Series model as a gift. For these last couple of items, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. In regard to an accessory, it's hard to go wrong with anything from Galen Leather. I personally get a great deal of use out of this A5 notebook folio. Um, these are really high quality leather items made in Turkey. Uh, you can see on mine here, there is a lot of wear, but no tear. Um, these are really well made. They have a nice hearty zipper to them. Uh, I don't have this one loaded with anything right now. I know you can just like barely see it all on the screen. Um, but uh, there's sl slots for six pens and an A5 notebook fits in here nicely as well. Um, I'm not certain if all Galen products still include this, but for a while they would also provide you with this evil eye, which would help ward off evil any evil spirits. So that's always helpful to have. But I love Galen leather products. And like I said, I get a lot of use out of this particular folio. Over time, the leather is going to gain a lot of character, uh, and uh, I just really like their products. And finally, in regard to an ink recommendation, at first I thought about the Diamine Inkvent calendar, but the chances are that uh, by the time this video gets out, they'll most likely be sold out. So I wanted to go with something a little bit different, which is a different set. Um, that ink set is from a company by the name of Wearing Ghoul, which is out of South Korea, and that would be the wonderful Wizard of Oz spellbook. Um, this is a really neat set that comes with uh, four different inks as well as four different shimmer colors which you can mix and match or even add to out inks outside this set. Um, there are four inks. There is the Dorothy, the Scarecrow, the Tin Woodman, and the Cowardly Lion. Uh, and I'll show you what some of these look like. This is the Dorothy with the heart shimmer added. There is Scarecrow with the brain. Uh, there is Cowardly Lion with brave and silver shoes. Nothing says you can't co uh, combine a couple of those. Tin Woodman with heart. Uh, Dorothy with silver shoes. Um, I added some to Pilot Arushizuku Konpeki with the silver shoes. So it made turned uh, Konpeki into a shimmering ink, which was really cool. Um, that's just the straight Tin Woodman and the straight Scarecrow. But you get the idea that you can combine and mix and match a lot of these. This is Cowardly Lion with Brave. Uh, Dorothy with uh, Silver Shoes and Heart. And then that's the Cowardly Lion. And this is just the straight Dorothy. So there are a number of gift suggestions for you. In regard to the giveaway, I will be giving away four $50 gift certificates, which can be used to purchase anything on the Gold Spot Pens website. I will put a link in the notes below to a Google form where you will enter your name, 
email address and answer an optional question. If you should win one of the $50 gift certificates, why don't you let me know what you would be picking up for either yourself or the fountain pen lover in your life. Um, it doesn't need to be any of my suggestions. It could be anything available on their site. And get, getting $50 off of an item might bring that item into a, a more attractive price point for you. So that's nice. 72 hours after posting this video, I will directly email the four randomly chosen winners with instructions on how to claim your prize. Best of luck to all of you. And thanks again go out to Goldspot Pens for suggesting I do this video as well as providing the gift cards. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.